Suddenly everyone is Christian? Is this clickbait or is it sincere? Kat Von D, Russell Brand, Hulk Hogan, Oliver Anthony, Nala Ray, Jordan Peterson, Kelly Stamps, and even that TikTok music guy who did the trap and the why is seemingly everybody all of the sudden Christian? I mean, is it really that hard to believe though? In a world that's quickly losing its grip on reality and there seems to be chaos and division all around. Honestly, I'm surprised there aren't more Christians. Aside from that, when people look to the messages of consumerism and wokeism or just personal general goodness, people feel a personal dissatisfaction and think that there really ought to be more to life. They just don't feel fulfilled. And there's a real reason for that. They want something real, something they can absolutely build their life on, something they can be assured of. And in our hearts and minds, we know that there has to be a purpose in life and that we can expect to be known and fully loved. We have an innate sense that there ought to be justice for the evils in the world. And in the quiet part of our mind, we are well acquainted with our own shortcomings and failures as well. I think we've laid out the problems, concerns, and questions pretty well, but what are the solutions? That is the real question and the question that Russell Brand has been asking lately as he's been taking time to read the Bible, Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis, and The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. Over the last six months, he has been on a journey looking for real truth and asking himself the very important question, is Jesus God and can and should I trust him with my salvation and my life? And is that even necessary? And today, we are going to talk about it. Welcome to The Crossing with Tommy, where we discuss where biblical and cultural thinking differ, and we talk about the Bible in everyday life so that you can think biblically. Today, we're going to discuss this recent TikTok by Russell Brand explaining his commitment to Christ and his decision to publicly announce his faith through baptism to the world. I'm getting baptized. This Sunday, I'm taking the plunge. I'm getting baptized. <laughs> taking the plunge. What At a the moment, <laughs> I'm very curious as to what you who have been baptized feel about it, what your expectations are of yeah. the event prior and what it's actually like. What's been explained to me is it's an opportunity to die and be reborn, an yes. opportunity to leave the past behind and be reborn in Christ's name, like it says in Galatians. He really likes that Galatians. You can live as an enlightened and awakened person. I just want to stop there for a second and discuss the scripture that he is talking about. It is in Galatians chapter 3 verses 26 through 29. For you are all sons and daughters of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ. And if you belong to Christ, you are Abraham's descendants and heirs according to promise. And the concept here is getting to the point where you admit that you don't have all of the answers about life and that you aren't ultimately the authority on it and that God actually is. Brand is expressing that he has come to this conclusion and that it has enlightened him and set him on a path of life that he wants to pursue instead of the one that he has been on. I mean, that's what it means to die to yourself. That's the point of baptism in a way. You are saying, I want to die to my old ways and I want to be raised up and born again into God, your ways and following your ways. And it's really exciting. I'm glad he's excited, but I love what he has to say next. So let's watch. Think of non-Christian perspectives on it, like Marcus Aurelius saying, you are already dead, now live the rest of your life properly. Or the Buddhist saying, put down the corpse. All of these things seem so inviting and beautiful. I know a lot of people are sort of cynical about the increasing interest in Christianity. I will just pause here and say, I think it's really cool, actually. A lot of people will like give him criticism or give this moment in his walk with Christ criticism because they'll say like, oh, well, he's kind of tried everything. That really, that does not matter. It literally does not matter. I think if you're being intellectually honest, you may also have kind of air quotes tried everything too. What you're looking for if you've tried everything is you're looking for ultimate truth. And so that's why I think he can actually come with a little bit more of a perspective of... Um, a little bit more of an honest perspective and say like, I've really thought about this. I've looked at all of these other options and they're kind of not it. In fact, they're absolutely not it. You might want to try to call it a return to common sense, but Russell Brand will probably be the first to tell you that he thought that too, if we could all just get back to the way things were or common sense until he realized 
appropriately so, that it's not just common sense, it's God sense, that it is biblical sense, and that it is only logical that we would want to operate in a certain way and not deny our nature and not deny the reality of how we were made and how we were made to think. And I am so excited for Russell as he is coming home and coming to the realization of what God says is true and you can base your whole life on it. And honestly, as Richard Dawkins said, we would be better off leaning into a Christian society as well. Common sense, God sense, you decide, but ultimately you're not the judge. God is. So, sorry, let's continue. And the return to God, but to me it's obvious as meaning deteriorates in the modern world, as our value systems and institutions crumble, all of us become increasingly aware that there is this eerily familiar awakening and beckoning figure that we've all known all of our lives within us and around us. <laughs> and for me it's very... Okay, so I think that's just like amazing that he that he said that, right? It's so honest and it's so true. Whatever is causing this stirring in people, like Russell is, he's right. Those who are intellectually honest and actually want to live by truth, find their way to Jesus and acknowledge him as God. They set aside their own pride and their own wisdom or their own assessment of knowledge. And they're willing instead to humble themselves before God and seek after his ways and seek after what the Bible says instead of their own ways. Setting aside one's pride to humble yourself before God and seek after his ways instead of your own in the pursuit of ultimate truth is the beginning of wisdom. It says in John chapter 10, My sheep listen to my voice and I know them. They follow me. And I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand and I and the father are one. It's only natural that we should want this kind of relationship. I mean, it is exactly what we were made for. People like brands have been looking at the state of the world for so long and are waking up to see what their previous apathy has been allowing in the world. I mean, imagine getting literally everything that you bought into and sort of like arriving at this mountaintop and looking around and realizing that it is truly not what you want. Realizing that it isn't actually freedom, uh, but it's instead its own kind of prison and like all the prisoners are like attacking each other and like everyone's just like this terrible free for all. I mean, I'm just going to go down a list here. Feminism is going to crazy extremes. Sexual freedom of <laughs> leads to shallow relationships or sexual deviancy and goes against what we were literally made for. It breaks our hearts. And then you have polar opposites like a trad wife revival because we feel disconnected from our families, our children, our food system. We are seeking out things that our grandparents had or are their parents before them. We are seeking out community in church. We are seeking out uh, the freedom of women being women and being allowed to be soft, to be seen as the kind of providers they are, but just in their own specific and special way and role, not just as little men. And men are encouraged and desired to be strong, bold, definitive providers, the workers, the ones who do exactly what it is only men can do. And on top of all of that, we are surrounded by all of these other sorts of like answers or attempts at answers that are really just band-aids. And some of them are downright scary. I mean, we have occults, we have crystals, we have gender fluid, we have truth fluid. And all of this leaves people absolutely anchorless. And it's madness. And Brand is saying, peace out. I want Jesus. Why? I mean, I think it's because he is a seeker of truth. I think it's because he's honest. Um, I think it's because he's dissatisfied with letting someone else write his life. And what I mean by that is he's dissatisfied with bowing the knee to another man or woman. And I guess I would ask you the same question. Are you satisfied with the way things are? Are you satisfied with the way things are in your life? Do you want to keep pursuing the things that you're pursuing? Do you want the world to keep going the way that it is going? 
And honestly, today you can start to answer these questions, but you first have to be honest about the possibility that you don't have all the answers and that God just might. That the world without the truth of God is not working out very well. That removing the reality of God from our lives is not the right path. And maybe, just maybe, God cares about you and can answer the concerns that are going on in your heart and mind. Maybe he wants to invite you to find out with him. Respond to his voice. Pause. Take time to consider what God would have to say to you. If you're worried about your life or your death or what's going to happen next or what happens when you die or what happens right now or how are you going to do this or how are you going to solve that or whatever craziness is going on, you do not have to be. You can know the answers too. You can find them out. You can hack life. You can know the truth. Read your Bible. Start in John. Ask questions, be honest, find community, type them in the comments. I promise you'll find the answers. Your eternal soul depends on it. Ask questions like Russell Brand was wise enough to do. I promise you'll find the answers and those answers will lead to eternal life. And you have a real choice to make and you don't know your timeline and I love you and your eternal soul matters. I am so happy for Russell Brand and I wanna be just as happy for you. Please join me in praying for Russell Brand and if you have any questions that you want to ask, it's okay if we end up not agreeing, please just know you can always ask them here on this channel that is literally the point of me sitting here and being here. God loves you and I do too. Hi there. I hope this video helped you see what a friend you have in Jesus and I hope you feel like you've made a friend in me too. If so, it'd be really cool if you subscribed and if you like this video and you want more, check out one of these too. God loves you and I do too. Bye. <laughs>